I'm going to do a quick review over um, Transformers Dark of the Moon Legion's class. Um, what's this guy's name? Uh, Crowbar. Crowbar. Just sorry about that. Anyways, um, he's one of the enforcers that was in the movie. Like, in the movie he was an SUV, but apparently they decided to turn him into a cop car for his toy farm. This is the only toy you can get of him at all. Because his, um, the only deluxe class enforcer made was the, uh, um, crankcase. So, yeah, this guy's pretty nice overall. I like the painting, like, they did pretty good on it compared to other Legion class. I mean, it's, it's okay. They could have done better. Like, the windows are the same color as the car. I guess it, it was trying to make it look like it was darkened out, but still. Anyways, it's a pretty cool car mode. Looks pretty nice. Rolls nice. So it's pretty cool. Transformation is pretty easy. You um, pull this out on both sides. There we go. You pull it out on both sides. And um, you then turn it around. You uh, pop the two arms off. From the top and bend them over. Lift the arm up, bend the front down, then put the arms at the side. On his legs, just bend out the legs and twist. Twist the waist. And then you have yourself a Legion's class crankcase. I mean, not crankcase, crowbar. He's a really tall Legion's class character. Let me get another one out for comparison. This is the Optimus Prime from Revenge of the Fallen. He's about the normal size. And Crowbar is a lot larger. You can include his little arm things. He's a pretty big figure. And he also looks really awesome. His face has really nice details for how tiny of a character this is. They did very good on the painting for his head. I like the little wire designs right here on his um, chest. He's got this cool little skeletal look to him. Which is pretty nice. The only down, he has like a holder for weapons. I don't have really any for him because I never bought the commander class. But I don't, the only downside to this is his arms have really limited articulation. Like, because it, it has this sticking out of it. And even then, I like putting him in this position because it looks like he's like about to attack him. That's the best you could place you can really put his arms. He has really good leg articulation. Move it at his waist, his knee, and his ankle. His head doesn't turn at all. That's kind of it for articulation. His waist can spin, but it's not that exciting. He is a really nice figure. I would recommend picking him up. But, um, yeah. He's not that great for stop motion because of his arms, but I've, it's kind of hard to figure out a way around that, but as long as you try and make him a minor character, you might get away with doing that. So anyways, um, this is Dark of the Moon Legion class crowbar. Picked him up for only $5. Wasn't that bad of a buy. I would highly recommend him. I would give him a 9 out of 10 just because of his arms kind of take it away from me. So... Yeah, I would pick this guy up. Really nice figure. Yeah. That's all I have to say about Crowbar. Subscribe to me and I'll be back later with more reviews. So thanks for watching.